There's a saying, love cannot live where there is no trust. On today's case, Mr. Fletcher says that his very tumultuous eight-year marriage to Mrs. Fletcher has neither. Even so, Mr. Fletcher says he would now like to let go of the toxicity, set a good example for his children, and ride into the sunset with his woman. There's just one thing holding him back, the paternity of his two-year-old daughter, Ariana. Will today's DNA results be the reset button this marriage needs? Or will the wrong result be the end of the Fletcher's relationship? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Fletcher versus Fletcher. Thank you very much. Mr. Fletcher, Mrs. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher, you are here today because the emotional labor in your relationship has been too much to bear. You say the state of your marriage hinges on the results of the DNA test of your two-year-old daughter. Yes, Your Honor. And Mrs. Fletcher, you're here today because your marriage is on its last leg. You say the mistrust and the lack of affection has left you bitter. You want to prove the paternity of your daughter and try to repair your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so Mr. Fletcher, what brings us into divorce court today? Well, what brings me here today is because I want to be like Jay-Z and Beyonce, drunk in love. I don't want to be in a toxic relationship. And on top of that, I want to make sure my kids grow up in a nice home and respect it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have them growing up in a toxic situation and not seeing their mother being loved correctly. So you're trying to provide the proper environment for your children to grow up in, and you want a happy house. Yes, Your Honor. Let me go on over here to Mrs. Fletcher. You heard what Mr. Fletcher said. Mrs. Fletcher, what do you say? Honestly, Your Honor, this is the second time that I've been brought to do a DNA test on one of my children. Really? Yes, it is, and I am... I'm very pissed about it, and it's crazy to me that he could believe everybody else and can't believe me, and we've been together for a very long time. If my child not mine, I want a divorce. And you just b bluntly said... The real issue when we come into this courtroom is whether or not Ariana is the biological child of the two of you. But Mrs. Fletcher says this is not the first time because you I doubted also... her. Yes, but I'm 100% sure that my child is his. We're gonna get there, no question whatsoever. Mr. Fletcher, why don't you take me back to a happier time when you first met and then lead me to what brought us to divorce court today? We got together in 2013. She just needed a shoulder to cry on and I was there for her. And it ended up getting deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to be there for her, and we ended up getting serious. And Mrs. Fletcher had a child from a previous relationship. Yes, ma'am. Were yes, you ma accepting of that child? Yes. And you started basically stepping in and becoming the father figure. As I should. And this man then... is not innocent. I beg your pardon? Th this man is not innocent. Uh-oh, you interrupted me, so that means you have something to say, Mrs. Fletcher? Yes. Um, he asked me to marry him before. And she and told me I, in front of everybody. I did not accept it. Wait, hold up. No, she didn't. She embarrassed me. How old were you when, when he first proposed? Um, I was 19 years old. And you had already had one child previously. Had you all started having children together? Yes, we had one child together at that time. And so you still turned him down? Yes, I did. Why'd you turn him down? The financial situation was not right for me. He tried to marry me in my, in my low-income apartment. <laughs> Yeah, and she, I didn't accept that. I didn't want to remember... My mom, her mom, I didn't want to remember my marriage being in the projects. Like, oh, where did you get married? Oh, I got married well, in the project. I had project. to start somewhere. I mean, she didn't want to... You well, know what I'm, I'm I even, to... I even brought, I even bought her flowers. I, uh... I even... I, well, I ain't gonna lie. Me as a man, I shouldn't have disrespected her. Um, I actually... Flowers don't cover out. up disrespect. Yeah, I, I, I cussed her out, and I tried to come back. Wait, you and... cussed her out? How does a proposal go from flowers and will you marry me to I cussed her out? I tried to go out the back door. Oh, you were running from the proposal. Yes. yes. I've heard of the runaway bride, but the runaway fiancé is a little bit deep. Interestingly enough, Mrs. Fletcher, you said you didn't want to have a project marriage. No, ma'am. Did you know the judge grew up in the housing project? I just want to let you know. See, yeah, the difference is the, the project from. didn't grow up in me. That's the <laughs> difference. So as long as you have aspirations, hopes, dreams to do something else, you can do anything, and it don't matter where you start out, baby. It matters where you finish up. So that right there, I want you to get in the back of your head. It's time for you to step it up and take your family out of that project. So think of it as a goal, 
That's what I want him to do is to get uh, to do better and show mm -hmm. show me he can do better as a as a man in our family. We but it says something that y'all came back and ended up getting married somehow, Mr. Fletcher. Yeah, yes, we got married after the third child. Then we ended up separating in 2020 because of her meddling ex. But he's not in. He the... always he always popping up in the picture. But wait a minute, like, Mr. Fletcher, I'm gonna get to that because I need to get back and and set the stage a little bit, Mrs. Fletcher. You decided you were going to have another baby. Yes, Your Honor. But you decided not to get married. Right. So right. you were comfortable enough to be a baby mama, but you weren't secure enough, enough to, to be, be a wife. wife. Right. Talk well, to me that about wasn't, your mindset. That wasn't the case. Um, I, I do love him dearly. Okay. But it was just, like, we weren't in the right mindset, neither one of us. Well, I actually appreciate that, because marriage is hard work, and... You want to try to do it right. Because financially, we, we weren't doing good. Mm -hmm. Financially, um, emotionally, physically, it, it can go on for... I can go on for days about it. It's just... It wasn't right at the moment. And he also knew it wasn't right. He just... He... That was like another cover-up, like with the flowers and the wine. Like, oh, well, I'm gonna give her this ring and I'm gonna make everything better. It doesn't make everything better. So you're telling me there were some other issues in the relationship that led you to say, mm, this is not the time for me to marry him. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Fletcher, you say a lot of this started around 2020, or I should yes. say came to a head yes. in 2020. That's when the pandemic started. Yes. But something else happened in your relationship. Yes, ma'am. What happened? He um, wanted well, to do she, his own thing? No, she was doing her own thing. Okay, we think her... both of y'all were doing your own yeah. thing because yeah, you yeah, actually separated. Right, yeah, we, we separated. We was both doing our own thing. But she just got this ex that just keep on popping up and popping up, like, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, so, I'm tired of it. If, if she don't want to nip that in the bud and get it out the way, I want, to, I want a divorce. I want to sign these papers. She wants to go through my phone. So I'm like, you want to go through phones? I'm going to go through your phone. I seen this guy in her inbox. They were supposed to supposedly link up. You mean she's talking to a third man, not the ex, not the about ex. connecting? Yes. Your Honor, it was nothing serious. It was like more for a little bit of attention. He doesn't show me any attention. But when you're a married woman, that's cheating. Okay, Mr. Fletcher, before we get to signing the papers, tell me what the ex does that ticks you off so much. Uh, he calls her to make, like, want, you want to fight somebody for me? He calls, and then, you know what I'm saying, she getting suited and booted for... Your Honor, I've never him. went and fought and she anybody never, and she for never anyone, did it never. For me. She never. She wouldn't do it for me. Never, I'm like, not you know even what that saying? type of so, person. I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, why do why you want to risk everything we got going on for them over there? You need to be over here, not over there. So, Mrs. Fletcher, why didn't you put some boundaries in place with your ex-man, do you? I, I have, Your Honor, and it just did, it did not work. I had to really, like, block completely out of my life. The ex that called my phone and said he'd been in my house before. He Excuse me? He know my work me? schedule. He know all That's of that. That's not true. He called me on the phone and said, you go to work. How does man know my specific time I go to work and when I come home? He shouldn't know nothing that's going on in my household. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna put that on Mrs. Fletcher. He it may might have be a came stalker. up in a conversation before, like, like on just on the phone, maybe, like, okay, maybe he's at work. And he got a time frame from that, but I've never just said, oh, my husband's at work, come over. I've never had a man come over my house while my husband was gone, ever. So, Mrs. Fletcher, here's my question. Why are you engaging in personal conversations that are irrelevant with your ex-man? Now, what I would I'm not know. going to judge you right now, but I would like to hear an explanation. Because my ex don't have nothing to say to me, and I don't have nothing to say to him. He conversates with this man more than I do. That sounds a little complicated. It is very complicated. And I can understand why but it, it annoys you. He's not you. the only person. He's not the only person. Well, wait a minute. Excuse me. Okay, so she wants to go through my phone. So I'm like, you want to go through phones? I'm gonna go through your phone. I get on her phone. Everything she's looking through on my phone for her, my phone, I'm seeing in her phone. Like I said, I, I seen this guy in her inbox. They were supposed to supposedly link up. And you know what I'm saying? So I, I called the dude. Wait, I don't know what you're saying. Excuse me. When you say they supposed to link up, you mean she's talking to a third man, not the ex, not the about ex. connecting? Yes. Then what did you do? I called the man. He said, I didn't know she had a husband. I didn't know she had a husband. He's like, it's crazy how women do men these days. I didn't know that, but I'm gonna be respectful and leave her alone. You had a conversation with the potential side man. Is yeah, that correct? I didn't want to feel like no simp, but I just had to stand up for my marriage. I had to call this man. Okay, so tag, you're it, Ms. Fletcher. Your Honor, it was nothing serious. It was like more for a little bit of attention. 
some attention that I was not receiving from him. So I, I did conversate and start talking to somebody else, but I was never going to seriously meet anybody or, or be with anybody else. But when you're a married woman, that's cheating. Because what you're doing is you're making yourself emotionally available to somebody else. I needed some attention. He didn't... He doesn't show me any attention. Like, it's all about, like, okay, I was texting somebody, but he was also texting somebody. So, like, I didn't know if he still wanted to be with me either at the time. You're a married woman. You could have called a family member, a sister, a cousin, your road Anybody. dog. Who do you hang with? Or you could have done the mature thing, which is talk to your husband. You could have also said, we need counseling. Is there a pastor or a therapist or something? I'm feeling lonely. I need attention in this marriage. He also believes everything everybody else says. Because how can I trust somebody that didn't turn out? Well, I can I mean, legitimately course. tell you that the trust was broken. And a marriage that is not built on trust is not a marriage whatsoever. Then she come home pregnant. I ain't had no doubts until a month ago when my family member called me and was like, did you see what's on Facebook? Ooh, Saying that, Stephanie, when are you gonna get a DNA test on this baby? These babies do look very familiar. Very. Robert, can we get the DNA results? When it comes to two-year-old Ariana Fletcher, it has been determined by this court... <gasps> no. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. The trust was broken. So we can start right there on why your husband is paranoid, suspicious, and maybe insecure about where you go, what you do, and who you talk to because he has reason to believe that. He's not innocent. He does his part, too. Hey, I know, I know, I know I'm not innocent, thing. though. I'm man enough to be in where I was. So, are you both dipping into other folks' DMs and, and I mean, both yes. dipping and at, dodging at time, in relationships? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, but now, now we're just working on... Working on everything. So, am I supposed to believe during this whole separation time, you all were just in and out of each other's lives? Out. Yes. So, then that was not a true marriage. Y'all were yeah, not we, we acting were like married people. We were separated about five months. And then we, we, we talked it out like adults, and then we started, you know what I'm saying, trying to ease our way back into being back together. Yes, because I was living with a family member to keep the toxic behavior away from our children so they didn't witness any we of that. We was back and forth by the hotels. So you would go to a hotel? Yes. And would y'all hook up during that time? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we would have sneaky links um, every few, every couple, like, like, a couple times a week, actually. And that's how I end up Between June and conceiving July. and getting pregnant. Oh, and so this is when that happened. Yes. She, then she come home pregnant. So I'm like, I ain't think nothing of it. I, I, I raised my baby from the beginning to now. I ain't had no doubts until a month ago when it popped up. So my family member called me and was like, did you see what's on Facebook? My, my daughter... Again with the social media. Look, my daughter side by side with another woman's baby saying that, Stephanie, when are you gonna get a DNA test on this baby? <gasps> so, Ooh, therefore, we've been doing good until a month ago. So... You all have been separated. You started linking up in July. Yes, in July. And according to you, the last time you had relations with somebody other than your husband was when? June. So I want to see this because actually I want to put it up so that I can see it on evidence if you don't mind. Okay. And just for my jury, I apologize. I have blurred out the photograph of the innocent child because I don't want to invade her privacy or her family's privacy, but I'm not gonna lie. These babies do look very familiar, like very. they could be siblings. Very. Mrs. Fletcher, why is this person causing issues in your relationship? She's miserable. She's, she's mad that she got left with my leftovers, and she's not happy in her own relationship or her own life, so she wants to make mine miserable like hers. And you say that there's no reason for her to be doing that other than just spiteful and being mean. Yeah, she's very spiteful, and I wish they would just leave me and my marriage alone. Well, um... Well, if she's not but I'm tired. Mine, this I is the second divorce. time that I've been... You keep saying that. Tell me about the second time. I never heard of such. I did a DNA before with one of our other children, and... Which is my son. I proved him wrong before. He told, he told me the same thing. Oh, that's not my child, and I did... I had to do the same thing, and this is embarrassing. I'm going through this again. 
So, Ms. Fletcher, I think probably the reason is your husband doesn't trust you because there's been untrustworthiness in this relationship. And I think you would agree with that. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Fletcher knows for certain that there was at least a gentleman involved yeah. in and around the time. I, you say not close enough. Mr. Fletcher says, I can't say for certain. Is that fair to say? Yes, Your Honor. We're going to see what the results are. Yes, ma'am. But, sir, I'm trying to figure out, other than this DNA story, do y'all have anything else in common? Are there any other things I mean, that we need to deal with? Because no, this is the, the marriage it, it, yeah. has to be able to be on solid ground. If, 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 this, if the DNA come back that this is my child, I'm willing to go above and beyond for my family and my wife. You're saying that over the course of the last few months when you all got back together, everything right. was fine. Everything's fine. We are working good on each other. We doing good. But this Facebook post is it what took a, sent took... you left. Yeah. Uh, Robert, can we get the DNA results? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that I'm clear of the family dynamic, you have an older child that Mr. Fletcher has for all practical purposes adopted and has been helping to raise. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And then you have two other children. And one on the way. And one on the way. Yes, Your Honor. I got my divorce papers if she's not my child. Really? Yes. So you know that these other children are yours. You know that your wife is pregnant and you are dependent on that the contents of this envelope. Yes. When it comes to two-year-old Ariana Fletcher, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Fletcher, you are indeed her father. Thank you. Oof. With a probability of paternity of 99.96% with no other probability. I told him. Thank you. No. I'm happy. No, thank you. I want to cry because... I've been going through a lot over I never this got, test. I never... Excuse me, you don't get to say anything right now. Go I've, been ahead, going, I've been going through a lot over this test. I just, I'm happy that it's over. But now we gotta build from scratch again. We gotta start all the way over again. It's interesting because you say you're happy that it's over. This is over. Definitely. I can hand this to you, and this issue is resolved. Yeah. But that the issues major, that got us here... It's a major issue in our marriage. ...is not resolved. There are other issues within your marriage. You all need to learn how to communicate. Yes, ma'am. You also need to learn that marriage is something that you're going to need to do together. I'd like to help you with that. One of the things that I get to do is ask some of the people who I work with, people who are licensed therapists and experts, who can teach young couples how to communicate and how to be married. Okay. And I need to know, do you have the ability to create new memories together? Mrs. Fletcher? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Fletcher? Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to give you that marriage counseling okay. because you're going to need somebody else to help you take the first step towards rebuilding your trust. That's what you need. I am so glad. I'm ready to take the step. Me too. Me as well. I need to see the two of you walk out. By the way, may I have those papers? Mm hmm My courtroom, my papers, ain't gonna be no divorce. Not up in here. Get up and get it. It's time. I love you. Yes, ma'am. Well, Robert, I am so glad this DNA result came back the right way. Absolutely. You know what? What's so strange is with these marriages, with these young people, is that something goes wrong, they go their separate ways, mm -hmm. and they act like they were never married. And this on-break baby phenomenon is not gonna work, not no. and make for a real marriage. Nope. Especially all these scares. But it's interesting. She has a list in her head right. of what she wants her marriage to look like. It's time for her to start trying to match that list, if Absolutely. you know what I mean. Hey. Made in Georgia.